uh, Islamic population of the world, then um, of course the issue of uh, Middle East cannot be separated from Islam. So um, based on this uh, line of thinking, then uh, I think most of the Indonesian uh, people only uh, responded positively to what he said, uh, regardless wherever he um, uh, has delivered he, the, the, the speech, that is Cairo, and we only uh, support what he uh, has uh, delivered to uh, the uh, Islamic world, as he said. The um, fact that um, he uh, been living in Indonesia uh, regarded as a uh, particular um, particularly important part of, of what um, uh, his, his way of thinking in terms of uh, seeing the problems in the Middle East. Um, the uh, fact that he lived in a kind of uh, middle to low class uh, neighborhood in Indonesia, which predominantly live uh, or surrounded by people uh, uh, who uh, adhere, who, who uh, uh, is, uh, who are Islam, then uh, they think that uh, what uh, he thinks and what he said and what's going to do um, will be uh, to the uh, uh, to the regard of, 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 of Islam. And uh, again, uh, what um, he said during his inauguration speech to the Muslim world, we seek a new way based on mutual interest and mutual respect is very uh, much in the mind of Indonesians in terms of um, seeing what Mr. Obama has been uh, speaking and um, is what is going to do. Uh, the uh, speech um, in uh, most of Indonesian uh, uh, people's mind um, is delivered uh, not only to address Islam but also to tell the Islamic world about uh, different kind of values, different kind of, uh, of, of, of philosophy that Indonesia actually has been trying to practice and even within these last few years we uh, been uh, able to uh, put it in the context of how we live in harmony uh, amongst uh, religious uh, religious uh, followers in Indonesia. That is um, when he speak about when he spoke about democracy, uh, protection and promotions of human rights, the rights of women, and uh, good governance and all those. So these uh, four uh, jargon uh, that um, he, uh, but that I think, uh, also been uh, part of. Uh, very important part of his speech. Uh, democracy, for instance, is, is, is what Indonesia is now being uh, you know, the, the third largest democracy uh, practicing. So um, the, the, uh, he touched upon the questions of protection and promotions of human rights. So uh, if you um, have a look at what we've been doing within these last uh, few years, uh, questions of um, upholding the principles of protection of, you know, and, and promotion of human rights has become a very important part of uh, how we uh, become the uh, third, third largest democracy. And uh, you may recall when uh, probably some of you knows that when uh, Secretary uh, Hillary Clinton came to Indonesia, he spoke about the right of women. And uh, uh, I think Mr. Obama also spoke about this. And uh, I think it's also become a part of what Indonesian uh, think very positive and uh, even uh, most of us uh, uh, even uh, wanted to say that what Mr. Obama has uh, spoken in Egypt is what uh, we have been doing within this last few years. Uh, now uh, on the coverage, um, at least there are two uh, nationwide televisions uh, network uh, broadcasted, broadcasted uh, fully uh, his, his speech. So. Um, millions of Indonesians uh, uh, followed what he uh, has been spoken and also uh, one of uh, very influential uh, newspaper in Indonesia, Jakarta Post, uh, covered the full uh, text of his speech. So this is a, a kind of uh, demonstrations of how uh, Indonesian um, has a very a particular interest on what he, uh, he has uh, been uh, speaking in uh, Egypt. And uh, concerning the uh, way ahead, I think um, on many uh, issues, on many uh, crucial or critical issues, um, uh, global issues, what I mean, such as uh, nuclear non-proliferation and the questions of um, Iran uh, and, and uh, all those that uh, have been uh, the, the uh, part of the um, formulations and implementations of the American foreign policy. We are uh, very uh, encouraged by what, uh, I mean, Indonesia are very encouraged by what he said in, uh, in, in many occasions, uh, such as what uh, he has uh, spoken uh, in, in, in Poland uh, concerning the non proliferation and uh, nuclear uh, disarmament and all those. Um, and um, on uh, Iran, for instance, it is only for uh, us to not uh, 
very positively when he, uh, for the first time as, in, as American president, uh, uh, mentioned Iran as the uh, Repu Islamic Republic of Iran. That is very important in the term of American foreign policy in the Middle East. And also um, in uh, the speech uh, delivered in Cairo when he spoke about the uh, two state solutions, especially when he gave a um, little bit of a little bit of um, everything. So um, he uh, dwelled upon the questions of settlement. At the same time, he dwelled also upon the questions of um, how uh, uh, the relation between uh, United States of America and Israel is inseparable. And so um, I think uh, uh, in um, general, um, we uh, qualified the uh, speech as uh, diligently crafted and uh, meticulously drafted and uh, articulately delivered. So um, it is, uh, uh, in a way, um, create optimism 